In this video, I want to share some advice on how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube. YouTube Simplified. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. And if you'd like to receive future notifications on videos that simplify YouTube, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. So we're all trying to grow our channels and it's great to celebrate every milestone. And I hope as you've gone along and hit your 100 subscribers or 500 subscribers that you've taken a moment to enjoy those milestones. Well, in this video, I wanna focus on that next milestone, which is a thousand subscribers. I wanna share some do's and don'ts with you to help you get there. So number one is do study. It's so important to do some research, watch videos from multiple sources, and get a firm understanding on exactly how YouTube works and what you need to do to push your channel along and continue to grow. Number two is don't sub for sub. Anything you do that is trading attention for attention is against YouTube's terms of service and it's the exact opposite way to grow your channel. In fact, you have a much greater chance doing those types of attention trades, whether it's sharing playlists and watching them or sub for sub or agreeing to watch each other's channels. All of those things are a violation and are much more likely to get your channel terminated than they are to ever help you grow. Number three, do focus on a specific niche or topic. That is so important for growth on YouTube. If you're struggling to get to a thousand subscribers, it may be because you're content is too wide and what that means is you really don't want to mix a bunch of different topics together such that it alienates the subscribers who subscribe to your channel for a particular purpose if i subscribe to your channel because you posted a cat video and i happen to think cats are cute and then tomorrow you post a video on a makeup tutorial there's going to be a disconnect between what i'm looking for and what you're offering the more variety you put on your channel the less likely you are to engage your subscribers and get them them to watch all of your videos and in extreme cases they might choose to unsubscribe. Number four is don't stray from your niche. A lot of times I see people who want to cover some random topic outside of their niche and I would really advise against that. One of the common things people do and I kind of did it on The Average Dan when I first started getting interested in how YouTube works is share YouTube how-to videos. Now if your video or your channel is related to how-to then that makes a lot of sense. But again, if you're doing a beauty vlog or you're doing crafting or whatever the case is, auto repairs and then you start putting how-to YouTube videos or YouTube news, that creates a disconnect with people on your channel who wanted to see your your original topic. If you're really inspired by YouTube how to, start a separate channel and start focusing on that type of content over there and keep your current channel on topic. Number five, do find a schedule and stick to it. Now don't, there's gonna be a lot of information out there about how often you should upload or you know whether it's weekly or monthly or whatever the case may be and what you need to do the bare minimum to succeed. Well, my personal opinion on that is find a schedule that you can actually stick to. It does no good if somebody tells you you have to post four times a week and that's not a schedule that you can maintain. Try to get a sense of what you're actually capable of doing. Try to be ambitious and you know push yourself a little bit if you have the time available Available, but it really to me it's more important that you can stick to the schedule whatever it is rather than being super ambitious and trying to do daily or five videos a week uh, when you're not going to be able to stick to it long term it's much better to post one video a week for the next year than it is to post three videos a week for the next four weeks and then give up all right number six is don't set unrealistic expectations now i know you're trying to get to a thousand subscribers or else you probably wouldn't be watching this video but it's really important to understand that that can take some time. There is a learning curve on YouTube and there is some things that you need to learn and kind of get the flow of how YouTube works and what you have to do to actually progress your channel and gain those subscribers and build your audience. It's much more important that you set reasonable expectations. Perhaps trying to get a thousand subscribers in a year is not so out of the norm there's probably plenty of channels that can that can get there within a year uh trying to set that example for two months is probably unrealistic there's probably a much smaller group of channels that have achieved that type of success so try to be realistic in the goals that you're setting for yourself so you don't set yourself up for failure and you've heard this a thousand times but number seven is do engage in the community i can't say that enough if i could say it in every video i would 
but the community is key. Now the community is all kinds of things. It's engaging with the people who actually comment on your videos, acknowledge them, appreciate them, let them know that you realize that they're taking time to watch your content and let them know that you appreciate that they've done so. It's also getting involved in Facebook groups and other communities related to other YouTubers to learn how YouTube works and how you can grow as well as Facebook, Facebook groups and other communities associated with the type of niche that you're in. Events associated with YouTube are equally as important if you have the opportunity to attend. Things like Vid Summit or even VidCon to a lesser degree give you the opportunity to interact with other people trying to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. Now, some of them can be kind of pricey, so you may not be able to attend them, but if you have um, those types of things in your area, try to do some research, see if any of them exist, and consider if you're in this for the long haul and you want to try to advance your channel to something that's going to be perhaps self-sustaining money-wise and possibly a future career for you, you want to start looking at some of those conferences like VidSummit with the idea that they may give you that additional contact with people who know how to grow and how to be successful to move you in that direction. All right, so when you're doing all this engaging in the community, number eight is don't compare. I know it's really easy for you to fall into the trap of trying to compare your results with the results of other YouTubers. The reality is it's different for everybody. If you want to do any type of comparison, focus on the way in which they do things and not necessarily their success. An individual channel's success has so many variables that you can't see. They could have been an Instagram star before they started on YouTube. Look at Will Smith. He had hundreds hundreds of thousands of subscribers uh, in a matter of days, I think it was, just because he's Will Smith. Obviously, he has all of that attention outside of YouTube, so it was really easy for him to grow. So never think that somebody else is doing better than you or it's not fair because you can't see what got them to that level of success. Don't compare yourself to others. Focus on your channel. If you want to compare with regards to your channel, look at your previous videos and come up with ways that you can improve for the next one. Number nine is do learn keyword research and custom thumbnail creation. Those two things are also extremely important. I know there's been some recent information out for some fairly large YouTubers who suggested that keyword research isn't important, but I think that information was a bit uh, misplaced in the sense that for smaller channels, it's absolutely very relevant and you can definitely drive significant traffic to your channel based on keyword research. And as we saw with the new uh, impressions pyramid graphics or funnel, if you will, that YouTube has recently provided us in analytics, we can also see just how important thumbnails are. Those thumbnails are the first thing that people see. That is the storefront that's going to decide whether somebody stops while they're walking by and comes in to check out your content. And number 10, last but certainly not least, is don't get discouraged. A lot of people stop short of a thousand subscribers because they realize that it's a lot harder than it looks. They see a lot of success out there. They want that success. They see channels, you know, the superstars that have millions of subscribers and that's what they want. And the reality is they don't see that long road, sometimes frustrating road between where they want to be and where they are now. It is worth it. It's worth putting in the time. Try to be focused on spending a year, the next year, the next 18 months to make videos and improve upon the content that you're making and you will be amazed at what you can accomplish. And hey, don't forget that this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free and the link is in the description below. And don't forget, TubeBuddy is now available on iOS and Android. So make sure you head over there and download the app as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to continue to receive notifications about videos that help simplify YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you've clicked that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.